Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about a simple shiny web application in which you can display your data by filtering it on a particular value. So for example here we have the cancer data by state and we have lot many states in the US. So the data set is so huge that in one go you cannot view the entire data. That's why a simple web application will help anyone to filter the data based on their uh, interest of state uh, of which they want to see the data and then you know you can view it so for example if i'm interested in seeing the michigan data so here is a michigan data that i can see or if it is like uh, montana then that's the data i will display over here so it's a simple web application just for an illustration um, sometimes it is helpful also that along with the analysis you are showing the data table so in this video we'll talk about or i will go through step by step about how you can achieve this simple interface which, which is helpful for producing a table like this and um, which is getting input by this input or the select input uh, box so let me close it here Let's first see the data, which is this cancer data I have. Um, if I show you, then I will use the view command and I will put the object cancer. So here is a big cancer data having around uh, 3041 observation. Um, if you want to see it more perfectly, you can see it by this showing new window. Here a new window will generate and show you much better result where you can do a search and filter also. So the objective is that uh, we want to uh, we want to show or we want to present this data in much more readable format by showing it in a web application which is taking an input from the user and then filtering the data and showing the data set back to the user. So for that um, here I have a simple code in ui.r and server.r. If you remember from my past video uh, I was having the app.r as a single file where I have both ui.r and server.r functions. So if I go in here, um, yeah, this was the app, the demo app, where I have the ui and server. And then in the end, I was running the app. So I have given you that demo already. And in this, what I'm trying to show you that you can bifurcate this ui or server.r into two different files so that the code is much more manageable. However, there is nothing which is changing from a code perspective or a standard syntax perspective. So in UI.R, we are first importing the library which is shiny and then we are saying the first function which is fluid page and then within this fluid page, uh, we are the first parameter is title panel which itself is another function to show the title. Um, after this, uh, we have we want to go ahead with the sidebar layout. So what the sidebar layout is, just to tell you again, let me run the application again by this run app and then the name of the folder where I have this ui.r and app uh, server.r uh, files. So if I run it, that's basically a sidebar layout. So cancer data by state is here in part of this title panel. And the sidebar layout saying that on the side you have we should have all the controls so here in this case of select input so after sidebar layout we are saying sidebar panel which is this and main panel is the main the right side the date the space that you have on the right side uh, within the sidebar panel we are saying that uh, we need a select input which is uh, taking three parameters so select input is this drop down box basically and taking the first parameter to identify this uh, input box so that's the id select a state is the value we are giving so that it is user friendly third is the choices now this is little advanced because if you remember from my previous video we have given the choices like this you know the manual choices India, USA, UK, Germany, other countries we have given to select input. But here in this case, in this UI.R, we are not giving the values by or the hard coded values. The reason is that we have uh, 
I think more than 50 values of uh, state in having the state information or at least something which is uh, which is not a user friendly way or not a from a coding perspective is not a right way of hard coding it but based on that data or based on the state that is coming into the data you just want to pick that up you don't want to hard code that in that case I have simply given a cancer dollar state and this factor is going into this choices and then displaying the values dynamically so that's a little advanced thing or a next step i have taken in this video by assigning dynamically state values to the input box which is this this input box so if you get a new data in which any of the uh, state is missing the same will be missing here you don't have to really worry about uh, that why the data is not getting displayed for even if the value is here so that's how it helps after this it's nothing but very simple main panel giving the table output this table output by the id cancel data now this cancel data is here in the server dot r over here the cancel data which is taking the output so again the code is simple that within the shiny server and the standard syntax is function taking the input from the ui giving the output back to UI. So output dollar cancer data. And because we want a table, that's why we are saying or opening the function render table, which is a reactive function. Uh, the reactive function means that uh, whenever a uh, user is changing any value, the table value is also getting changed. So that's the bad definition or that's the meaning of a reactive function. So here render table is a reactive function. And here with the help of subset function, we are subsetting the values based on the state and giving it back to the state filter or this object, which is getting displayed on the front end. So what it is basically saying that subset cancer, cancer is the main data set and subset it by state, then cancer dollar state equals to equals to. So that's the important thing that you have two equals to sign by assigning the input dollar in state value so input is basically saying take the input from the ui and the id from which or the component from which you need to take the input is the in state so if you see the in state within the ui dot r then it is nothing but this in state from the select input so if you go here in server dot r then it is giving you all the input filtering the data uh, the cancer data assigning it back to this object which is getting displayed here in the table output the cancer data okay so once you are done then you just need to run the app like this by by this function from the command prompt so if I close this again and say run app cancer then the, all this information is getting displayed and I will I can select any display uh, state like Arizona and all my information will be displayed dynamically to me I can go and select Colorado or Alabama anything so that's that's one easy way where uh, we can get all the dynamic input in an input box and display our results on the right hand side so that uh, user don't have to really go through 3400 different records at one go but can go state by state and and do their further data analysis or look into detailed data so one last thing before i close this video is uh, setting up the folder structure so this folder structure is important and if i had escape then i will come back to the command prompt and i will put get working directory is my command so get working directory is basically this c users my name documents and then shiny so shiny is the main folder where all my different applications are stored so if i go in here documents within documents i have shiny and within shiny i have these different uh, working applications so one is the lit the one which i'm showing is this cancer so i have this folder cancer and within this folder i have ui.r and server.r the same thing you need to uh, basically make sure that if your path is not like this that means indicating the folder where all your 
different folders are stored having the ui.r and server.r code then you need to make sure that you are doing that because if you don't do it will throw you an error that it cannot identify the application that you want to run so this this is basically the name of the folder i am running within the run app function uh, which is having ui.r and server.r so here this is the folder name i am running it has having ui.r and server.r and i'm done hit enter and i have the application if i want it in a browser i can go here in the browser and do the same thing selection and getting the values displayed so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic